Hey everybody, it's Ray, and today I'm gonna show you how to update your PS Vita to firmware uh, 3.18. Um, we're gonna update over Wi-Fi as usual. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit the settings after you've already connected to your Wi-Fi, and you can go to system updates, update using Wi-Fi, or you can update by connecting to a PS3 system or update by connecting to a PC. We're going to go with Wi-Fi just because uh, it's easier. So we're just going to hit that. And you can see that it says 3.8. Yay! And blah, blah, blah. We'll close all that crap. Great. So now it is doing its little thing. It's downloading it whatever it is doing and you've got to read all this crap but I don't just scroll down and hit accept and it says do you want to update it um, and you can see that there's a five minute download time hopefully it's not actually that long um, so what is in this update well nothing important to be honest it's a system software stability uh, update uh, to improve certain features Sony actually doesn't even specify what these special system software stability features are, um, which sucks, so you won't actually know. Um, so that's pretty much what it is. Um, hopefully it doesn't get worse. Sometimes an update will get worse and slow down your system, but most of the time it doesn't. Um, so we're going to check back once it is closer to finish time. And uh, this is still the original PS Vita model. I didn't get a slim model. Um, I think the original is still pretty good. I like the OLED screen more than the uh, LCD. And I also like the fact that the original PS Vita, which is this one, uh, doesn't have that bezel around the screen. Kind of like crappier screen. So we're going to come back when this is closer to being finished. So be right back. So we're almost there, there we go, 100%, it's finished downloading, now it's got to reboot and install itself, so don't be freaked out if the screen turns black, that's just the way it is. So now you can see that it's kind of rebooting, now it's actually installing the update. So just let this run and it should be fine. So installing shouldn't be that long. It's the downloading part that will be dependent on your internet connection. Here we go. You can see it's installing pretty fast. Okay, it's going to have to do another round of reboot, so just let it go. Now it's a de real reboot because you see the PlayStation logo on it, so once we boot up, we should be on uh, more, I don't know, database updating? Okay, sure. I'm sure. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, so... We're gonna, oh, come on. Just don't really care about this crap. I'm trying to get rid of this light. Oh, I guess I'll have to just kind of hold it up. But uh, we're gonna go to settings just so I can verify that it is. And you're gonna go in there. And you can go down to system. And then you can hit system information. I'm just gonna put my thing over here so that I will block off certain things like the MAC address but you can see down here
that it is uh, 3.18 and that is how you update it um, if you like this video add to your favorites give it a thumbs up share it to Facebook and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe um, I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching